So we've just popped down to the beach to check out um, the situation with the small polystyrene balls. Um, we had a report of that had washed up. Um, and sure enough, we, we're just past high tide and um, yeah, they're, they're pretty much everywhere. We've just um, seen a seagull packing at this, which, um, which caught our attention. Uh, they're so tiny um, that they're easily gonna be pecked at, mistaken as food and ingested by seabirds and, um, and sea animals, which is such a shame. They're also so tiny that they're getting sort of trodden into the shingle and, um, and inevitably will get blown or washed back out to sea. Um, yeah, we need a beach hoover for this job really. Um, but if you're headed down to the seafront today, um, and you can, even just taking a few off the beach is, is, is going to help. Um, so if that's something you're able to do today, that would be marvellous. Thank you for taking action. Um, and, and yeah, try and, try and leave no trace, Brighton. We're back down the seafront this morning for a quick update on the um, polystyrene ball situation, the bulls that washed up onto Brighton seafront yesterday. Um, unsurprisingly, they are still around um, and seem to be um, pocketing in the sand and um, to the west of the groins. Um, we've got a light westerly wind this morning on the seafront, so they are blowing east, um, our friends at the Deans, they're coming your way. Um, if you're headed down to Brighton seafront today, um, please do consider taking, um, taking a few off the beach out of harm's way of the seabirds and sea animals and um, and that would yeah really help loads thank you so much what an incredible community we have I had 60 messages yesterday um, from individuals who took action for the environment and um, cleared cleared as many as they could what a tricky job they're just they're just tiny um, huge thanks to everyone that responded um, yeah just just incredible um, thanks for, for helping us leave no trace